Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to do a easy sky replacement here and uh, show you how to match up some of the colors to make it look more realistic. So in this video what we're going to do is we're going to replace this photo uh, and put this sky in the background there. Alright, now I'm going to move my uh, sky down below and so that the uh, sky is not showing and the original image is there. So the way we're going to replace this sky, it's really easy for this one because there's really no definition in here. Uh, but the, reason, the, the easiest way we're going to do it is just click the uh, quick selection tool, which is right here. Quick selection. If you see, if you don't see it there, but you see the magic wand, just click and hold and then choose the quick selection tool. So I'm just going to do a real quick brush over, over the sky. And there we go, we got the sky selected. Uh, and we're gonna just reverse the selection, we're gonna inverse the selection to where we're now selecting the uh, the uh, other part of the image and not the sky. And so I'm gonna click Select, Inverse. And so now this uh, iceberg and the water and stuff, that's selected. So now that I got everything selected, I'm just going to go ahead and do the Refine Edge tool. And so what that allows you to do is to uh, to to just do a little bit of a micro adjustments to the selection that you have. So I have mine set to on layers, and that allows me to see the sky below it uh, to where I uh, to where I want to replace the sky from. But you have a whole lot more options here. You can choose a white background. You can choose a black background uh, just to give you more contrast so you can see better. But now that I got the sky underneath my original layer, I like to do the on layers there so I can see kind of how it's looking. So, uh, so as, I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit. So as you can see, the edges are kind of choppy here. So I'm just going to click smooth. I'm just going to kind of smooth that out a little bit. Just move it up a little bit and let it smooth itself out. I'm also going to feather it a little bit. And this will help just kind of break up the hard edges. And that's about it. And the only, the only thing else I'm going to do here is for the output, I'm going to go click here and do uh, new layer with layer mask. So that'll cut out the rest of the image here. All right, so we're gonna zoom out, and now you can see if we toggle off this air, this uh, image here, we just have the sky. This was our original, and then this is our new one with the selection. Now we can move a sky behind it to make sure we get kind of a good position. So I'm just gonna zoom out just a tiny bit, and move the sky up, just kind of get it where I want it. So roughly about there, so I have a little bit of color. And so that's the basic sky replacement. Now what we want to do to make it match a little bit better is add color to this sky to sort of match the warmth that's going on right here to, to give it the illusion that uh, everything is kind of blended in together. So the real easy way that I like to do that, I don't like to do a whole lot of color balance or anything like that. I just like to do a photo filter. So I'm going to click down here and choose photo filter. And that'll automatically give me a warming filter that I can play with. So I'm going to just warm this up a little bit. As you can see, the image behind it's starting to warm up to sort of match the beginning here, the, the warmth that's coming off the, the front of the iceberg. So if I toggle this off and on, you can see the difference it makes. And it sort of blends it in a little bit more. So that'll help give it the illusion that this was the original sky. All right, hope you enjoyed that really quick, easy tutorial on replacing skies in Photoshop. Thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.